Hi and welcome to your how to make it yours video tutorial. Now for the next five minutes or so I'm just going to quickly show you how to personalize each one of your video scribes. It's very simple to do so let's jump straight in. Now as you can see I am using Camtasia Studio. Now I don't want you to worry because if you don't have a copy of Camtasia Studio then you can use Windows Movie Maker or any other free video editing software that allows you to add callouts to the timeline. So the principle is the same. So don't worry if you don't have a copy of Camtasia Studio. So with that said, let's get started with importing one of our videos that you downloaded from the download page. So we select import and choose one of our videos from our computer and as you can see there is the video inside the video editing software. Now we have to add this to our timeline which you can see down below and we do that simply by right clicking on the video and selecting add to timeline. Now as you can see the video track is here and the audio track is directly below. The next stage is to add our call out and before we do that let's select our call out track. So as you can see there is a feature here called tracks and we simply click on this little button and select call out track. Now the call out track has become visible. To create your call outs we have to select call outs. Now when you open up your version of Camtasia this shape may not be visible. If it's not then simply open the drop down menu and select text. Now the next thing what you have to decide on is what text you want to appear on your video. Now in my testing the best results I have received is by simply adding a telephone number. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. So I'm simply going to write in a example telephone number 555 555 5555. Now this can be anything with what you want. It could be a telephone number, it could be a website address, it could be a email address or a combination of all three. That's totally your choice. Now I choose the size 26 and I use the aerial text. Again, that is totally your choice what you'd like to do. And I also add an a transparent effect of 75%. Okay? Without transparency, this is what it looks like. With transparency, it looks like this. Okay, so now we have our first call out in the call out timeline. So let's just play our video and see what that looks like. Okay, as you can see, the callout played from the very beginning of the video. So let's just select that callout because we're going to make a copy of it once we have it set up correctly. So I, I think the best, the best effect to use for your video is to just drag the callout a couple of seconds away from the beginning of the video, so it doesn't actually show. If we can see, if we start the video from the beginning, the callout is not visible. And then we're going to add a fade in effect by selecting the callout, dragging the window down here so we can find the fade out properties, and selecting fade in. And then we're going to give it a 30th of a second fade in effect. So let's select our text call out and then we're going to drag it up until the point you can see as we drag the video on the right hand side actually plays back in real time and we're going to drag it until the third paragraph appears at the bottom of the video there we go the very f just before the first letters of the first of the third paragraph appear there just there and let go. So what will happen is the video will play, the call out will display for this amount of time that the audio 
voiceover is playing and then it will fade out when the third paragraph starts and the reason why we want it to fade out when the third paragraph starts is it will simply be underneath or on top of the paragraph and will not look, look good so let me just explain that by actually showing you so I'm just going to bring the video back a short while and make it play let's just click here they can't find what they need you'll lose business Okay, did you see that? And then the video faded out. So now we have a call out that we can use several times throughout the length of the video. So let's select it by right clicking on it and selecting copy. Okay, so the next place where we're going to place our call out is at the end of each slide. Now each slide has four paragraphs one, two, three and four. So as you can see this is the voiceover for the fourth paragraph. So let's just let that play. And then stop the video by hitting your space key. And what we want to do is when the slide transition takes place we want to find a blank screen. So let's hit the space bar again. There's a transition. I hit the space bar again and we have a blank screen. And this is where we're going to paste in our time our um call out. So I simply click in on top of the cursor and then right click and paste. And there it is. There's a second call out. Now, as we did in the first slide we're going to do in the second slide we want to locate the third paragraph okay we can drag the cursor along until we can see the letters appear from the third paragraph just before there it is let go Seconds play it back And there it fades out. Over 200 million YouTube Perfect. Videos. Okay, and we can do the same again for the end of the slide. Shop on their phones. There's the blank space. Click on the cursor, right click, and paste in the call line. So let's drag this call out. This this call out until we see the third paragraph once again right there okay and then we can play it back just With to test decisions, is your business mobile ready perfect okay now for the last slide we do not add the call out at the blank space. Have you gone mobile yet? What we're going to do, we're going to let that transition take place, and then the last slide that plays is actually a call to action. I'll show you what I mean. Let's just let the video play. There are many ways to use mobile marketing to communicate with your new and existing customers. If you are open to finding out more about your options, then please get in touch with us using our contact details below. Okay, and let's hit the space bar. Now, the animation will draw an arrow which will point your reader's eyes to the phone number. So let it draw it first like this. And then when the transition effect takes place and the window comes around, just stop it by hitting the space bar and this is where you want to paste in your last call out transition or your last call out effect so just right click and paste and then we are almost finished with the last call out we want to remove the fade out effect and extend the call out to the very end of the video and we do that by selecting the call out going back to the um, call out bin 
and select fade out. As you can see, the fade out has disappeared. And then we just drag it all the way to the end of the video, and that's it, we are finished. Now, if this happens with your video and it ends on a blank screen, then simply drag the cursor and snip maybe a hundredth of a second of the video away. Just cut it away so that the video ends with the actual call out showing and the video and not a blank screen. And that is it. At that stage, you can simply export or produce and share your video in any format that you wish and then upload it to your website or to your YouTube channel.